Hello, this is Tyrone Taylor with Junkers101.com. I hope you're having a great day. Today, um, I'm going to take you through a um, basically the 17 steps to um, putting a deal together uh, from A, a to Z. I'm going to start with step number one, which is um, locating deals. Uh, I'm assuming that you've already would have educated yourself when you go through these steps. Uh, obviously, they can get a little more detailed in this three to five minute video that I'm about to put together, but I just want to give you some insight on uh, start to finish over a series of videos. But um, locating your deals, uh, obviously, your whole lifeline to your business is going to be deals. Um, there are a number of ways that you can locate deals. Um, my preference are bandit signs. Those are the signs that you see nailed up on um, uh, utility poles or they may be stuck in the ground. Um, nothing, in my opinion, works better than those for the cost and the immediate response that you will receive from those. Um, just think about it. Everyone has a cell phone and they're riding along and uh, they see one of your signs that say we buy houses and your phone number um, they may not have even been thinking about a house that they have for sale but that sign uh, struck an interest to call you to because they just remember uh, they had a house that uh, their, their parents left them and uh, obviously when the parents died I'm not selling mom's house I'm not selling dad's house but after paying taxes on it for two or three years and it's sitting there vacant, uh, continue, continuing to deteriorate, uh, that house is not an asset in their mind anymore. It has just become a problem. So they'll call you and say, hey, I got a house for sale. Now you entertain the call and you and that seller put the deal together. Um, well, you'll put the deal together if you can agree on a price with the seller, which uh, is a part of the negotiating part of it, but that's not that difficult just after a series of questions. Uh, I rarely make offers. I normally uh, pose questions to um, the seller that will try to get the least uh, amount that they'll be willing to sell the property for. But if I am forced into an offer, then you know I'll get to that in the negotiating uh, part of these 17 steps. But um, uh, marketing is everything when you start talking about locating deals. Now I have um, uh, driven around and located deals, which that may be the most inexpensive way but it could be the most the, the, the most difficult way to find deals and also very discouraging which will may cause you to give up on this business which can be a very lucrative business if you stick with it and um, just know what you're doing is the main thing uh, the next best option was probably postcards um, because of uh, how the ease of it uh, gathering lists are very is very easy uh, you can do it all right in front of your PC uh, and you never have to leave your house never have to lick a stamp there's some services out there to provide the mailing list and actually send out the uh, list for you. Uh, and you can create your postcards and everything online. Uh, very, very simple. You're consistent with postcards. They're just as effective as band signs. It just takes a longer to get that machine uh, going. But once it's going, sometimes you don't stop. You can't stop it for the simple fact that um, I've had uh, a family to hold on to a postcard for a year and a half and call me later. Uh, at the time that I sent the postcard to them, they uh, were not interested in selling the property, but they knew that would change, and they called me. They actually came down from Seattle, Washington. I'm in Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, they came down from Seattle, Washington, called me when they got here. We put the deal together. They actually went back to Seattle. We did it as a long-distance transaction. I think I made $5,000 off that deal and uh, just from that postcard. One penny postcard, you know, it generate that kind of money. Of course, there's a cost of mailing the postcard, but um, that one piece of paper, you know, turned into some cash. Um, but uh, postcards, abandoned signs are the most effective and probably the least expensive ways to uh, start marketing. Um, I would encourage anyone to, um, to get a website. You don't have to start with one, but if you can afford it, you definitely want to try to include that into your marketing uh, campaign because one thing about a website is working when you're not. It's working when you're asleep on vacation, uh, at work, whatever you're doing is still there working for you, promoting uh, your business and your services. It's a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week salesperson. But uh, those are uh, just a couple of ways to uh, locating deals. I have to set up a prefer for the deals to find me. Um, you can ride around and look for deals, but, you know, that's, that, that'll be a choice. Uh, as I said, that is the most difficult way to uh, 
to jump start your business, but it is very possible if you're if you're persistent and don't give up on it. But it can be discouraging riding around looking for deals. But uh, this is my uh, uh, step one: locating deals um, in a series of videos. Um, hopefully, I can get them all done in the next couple of weeks. Uh, 17 videos on how to put deals together as far as wholesaling or flipping houses. Um, as you see, all the annotations here on the screen um, that you can purchase the course 347, which is a discount from the normal price of 697. I'm not sure how long I'll run that, um, but you can also call me at 205-492-3425. Um, this is Tyrone Taylor with Junkers101.com. Please check out my other videos at my channel. Uh, thank you, and I look forward to working with you. Have a nice day.